Hello everybody, this is Really Crucial here and thank you for watching this video. Today's video on Division 2, I'm going to be discussing two builds that falls with the shield. Most of this gameplay is either on heroic or legendary missions. You could do this with a group, most likely suggested, or if you want to, you could try it solo. I haven't tried it on PvP yet, but hopefully I'll get some material and I can show you on this video too. So these two uh, builds uh, I'm going to discuss, actually they can carry their own weight. It's very good and they're very powerful as far as you can stay up a long time and also do damage. So I'm going to go over the build and I'm going to take it a little bit slow by slow to see how this build will actually go. This build right here I call it is the Patriot's Pride. So most importantly, you want to have this as a tactician on this one right here. And also it's very important you want to use the pencilance because it is going to do a debuff, which is part of the, the true Patriots build. Secondary, it doesn't really matter. Either or the pistol. The pistol you could use the uh, the name the KR45, which I'm using right now. You could also use the Liberty, which as far as get your shield health back. Or you could use the Regulus as well to get the extra firepower on there. So for the two Patreon, how I'm using it, you can use you any style that you want it. I'm running uh, four uh, core attributes of defense, so that way I can have a lot of armor. Now secondary, you can run health, uh, armor regeneration, hazard protection, or if you want to put status effect on it, that will be perfect too. Also, I'm using a one piece of the exotic. Uh, General Red Race Pride chest piece and also is why I'm using the Kamikaze uh, Emperor's Guard where it gets you 1% armor regeneration. Now if you don't have those knee pads then the secondary thing I would suggest is to have the new Bellstone Armory uh, one piece and that way you have armor regeneration to go along with this so that way you have a little bit of survivability to go with it with the build. Now the second build I'm showing right now, it is actually another build that, giving credit to a YouTuber and a friend of mine, also a clan mate, his name is Poison Smurf. This build could be potentially dangerous as far as going to the DZ. Definitely holds its own as far as heroic and legendary missions, but this build definitely does slack. So. What you're seeing right here, as far as these couple of clips, is it's, it has damage, it has survivability, and if you played your cards right, you can actually get a, a tier 6 on a shield. And you have to do this per T, as far as how it's going to be explained. Well, I'm going to show you as far as how you get this as well. And when you go to. to Poison Smurfs channel, give them a thumbs up on this one. 
And also, I'm going to leave a comment, not a comment, I'm going to leave the link to where else you can go more in depth with this build. Now, the way I'm running it is going to be very, very damaging as well, but this one you can do a higher damage with it as well. This one I have a little bit more survivability, so that way I can take a lot of damage, and as you can see here, I'm getting my armor back and bonus damage. So let's go bring over the build right here. So, so I'm going to slow this down, try my best to keep up as far as how it's going to go. So definitely you want to use the tactician specialization. So that's going to give you one tier. Now the primary and secondary weapons does not matter, but the pistol does. Follow me now. So you want to use the Cairo 45, which gives you one skill tier. So not only is not one, but it's also two. So you have two tiers that's already already go. So you have a tier two hive for right now. Right now, if you can, if possible, if you get a gun that has the Cairo 45, the name one. If it has instinct, it will go perfect with your build. That way you get a little damage to go along with it. Now, you can use the Punch Drunk, Douglas and Hardy name mask, or I'm using the Hollow Man, which is the Yaw Gear, which gives you 10% health damage. Now, this other piece right here is going to be the net. I'm sorry, the Memento Book Bag. It gives you three and one. So, so far, you got three and four on your shield. I'm also using the, the uh, Jane Killer, the named Golan chest piece. It gives you the Intimidate. So, that way, when you prop the bonus armor, when you collect the trophies, you do 40% more damage. Now, also as well, I'm using the... The death grips, the name 511 gloves, because when I kill an enemy, I'm getting 10% armor damage. So that's going to boost it up too. I'm also using the Murakami knee pads, the Emperor's Guard. If you, like I said, if you don't have that, use the Bellstone Armory to give you that 1% armor regeneration. And I'm also as well using a holster. What you see right here, Don? The Bellstone Armory. So that brings it up to about about two to three percent armor regeneration. But also they bring me up to like six uh, skill tier on my shield. As you can see on this clip here, I'm taking a lot of damage and I'm getting my armors up. As long as my, uh, yep, I'm getting my armor up. So I did put armor, uh, that come in from repairs on my mod. So that way to where I'm getting my armor up as I'm going along. So it's coming up very quickly. So as you can see here, I can do damage, but also, I can also take it too. And see, as far as this is on um, legendary, they're shooting my shield and they're trying to do damage on me, but it ain't working. Anyway, that concludes the video. If you like the video, drop a uh, drop a comment. Let me know what you think about the build. If you like it or not, like a comment. If you love the video, dislike it for the thumbs down. And always, I would love to have your feedback. It's still good. This is really crucial. Signing off. Love y'all.